What's up everyone, it's Lee here from Boother Tools. I'm at the party rental shop right now. Let's get into some photo booth stuff. And I got a short little video here for you today. Uh, we have this photo booth going out. We're sponsoring it for an event. So we thought we'd plaster some logos on it. This is a DIY photo booth. I've got five of these, and then we also have some smaller ones that go through the mail. Uh, all this unit is is a uh, touchscreen monitor that I bought from a pawn shop, uh, a camera, $300 Canon uh, T2i that I bought from also a pawn shop, and then a $40 Monolite strobe. Uh, I bought that a while ago, so that was, uh, it's now like 160 bucks for one of those. Uh, that's Canadian as well. And then just a box that I built and uh, you put a computer in and then you're off to the races. You've got a photo booth as soon as you buy the photo booth software, which is DSLR booth, DSLR booth. Photo booth software just goes inside and then it's ready to start shooting. So if you need uh, to do these things on DSLR booth, uh, today I'm showing you how to um, implement a start screen, which I designed here on a program like Canva. Uh, it's called Vintage Logo Design for my iPhone, but Canva is probably easier. I'm just accustomed to this program. Uh, I just want to tell you, I use my program. I do this on my iPhone. So I have a program called Vintage Logo Design and I just design up a start screen, apply their logos, and then I made a template for the photos uh, that it's going to display on there. And I just email them to the photo booth. And then once I email them to the photo booth, I uh, just upload them to the photo booth and then apply them into the photo booth program. And then all of a sudden the photos look like this. Very simple. So this is one of the big photo booths here. So it's just a, uh, a box with a camera, touchscreen computer inside. Very simple. Oh, it's plugged in. I don't want to unplug it. Um, it automatically boots up to the photo booth. So we just press the little lock there, put in our secret code, and then it just takes us to Windows. So we're just going to go into Windows. We're going to just click the edge of the browser there, go into the email, and uh, upload the pictures that we've sent ourselves from the uh vintage logo design so it's just like an app for designing photos same as canva uh, you could probably just design something through canva so we'll just click into edge okay yahoo mail i've emailed myself some photos so let's just go uh photo template this is the one that we sent ourselves so we'll click into it it'll take a second and then we'll just upload it to the computer right on the desktop there it is, the bartender challenge in support of the Big Brothers. Click on download. There it goes, it's downloading. And then we could just drag it right over to uh, the desktop there. And then it'll be on the desktop. Perfect. Take the other image, the start screen image, and we'll also download that. And we'll just drag it onto the desktop. Okay, so now let's close the browser up because we don't want our clients to go into the email. Now let's just exit all these tabs, make everything go away. Click back into the photo booth program and then we'll rename this photo booth. So we'll create a new and we'll call this one Bartender Challenge. So now that we have these uploaded here, we just go into the settings and we'll change the start screen, so display, and the start screen image, we'll browse. Well, we wanna go to the desktop, and then we can see the start screen image right there, so we'll open that, and then let's save. Bam, look at that one. Bartender challenge, nice start screen right there. Implemented, now let's change the uh, template for when the photos shoot. Okay, now that we've got the start screen implemented, let's change the, uh, the template that will show the photo template. So we just click into uh, template, right beside settings there, and upload from the desktop because we've already uploaded it from the email. Okay, so we'll click on template. And there's our template, it normally takes four photos. Well, we only want this template to take two photos. So we're gonna delete two photos, delete, delete. So now it's set to take two photos. And then we're gonna throw an image overlay on top. So um, let's go to our desktop where we have the photos stored. There we go. 
bam and then we can just layer this one back so you see how it went over the photos all you have to do is just drag it to change the location or the photos to be over it and then we can stick the photos in the frame like so so see we click on these photos we want to make them a little bit smaller so we want to keep the aspect ratio and change the width to Eight fifty. Eight fifty is the sweet spot. So we'll take this one, keep aspect ratio. So and we'll change that one to eight fifty there. So do do and change to eight fifty. Bam, and then we just line it up. And there's our photo template ready to go. And there's our photo template ready to go. So we'll just click open photo booth and it should be ready to start shooting now. So we just maximize it and touch the screen to start the photos. So we'll take some test photos. Uh, we'll put the flash on and then we'll take some test photos. Okay, so we put the light on top. The light's just a simple newer S300N. When I bought this, it was 40 bucks. They're now like 160, uh, but still well, well worth it. I've never changed a flash on one of these yet. Everything breaks before the flash bulb breaks. Um, and people are rough on these booths and uh, things don't break very often. Anyways, all we have to do is click the screen to start. Uh, it's just our photo. So now it's gonna take four photos and it's gonna text them to us. Oh, that's it. That's all. That's how you implement a uh, start screen and a template design that you've already created onto uh, your photo booth if it has DSLR photo booth. If it has DSLR photo booth software on it, which is the software we use for the photo booths that we sell and that we build, that we show all the tutorials for. Um, I hope you got something from this video. If you didn't, get out of here! No, just kidding. Uh, Booth or tools out.